rap songs Smagalicious mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times Make sure you like, share, and subscribe What's up, y'all? Good morning, good morning, good morning Today I am eating lobster And some, um Lobster eggs, and I got some corn on the cob, and of course, I got the coldest water bottle in the building. If you want free shipping, all you gotta do is say water break, water, 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 water break. Hey, just like that, y'all, just like that. Anyways, y'all, I'm so hungry. I'm eating all day long. I'm starving, starving, starving. I'm gonna say grace, and we're gonna get it in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And say amen to God. Amen to God, y'all. Y'all know your girl loves seafood. Darius hates it. But no matter what's on your dinner table, my snack of sauce mix can make it taste better. Y'all come and eat. Mm, that's okay. I know what to do. My Smackalicious Sauce Mix is the flavor that brings the family together. Order it on Amazon. Come on with it. Come on with it. Now I'm ready. I'm ready to go, y'all. I'm ready to go. Mmm. Mmm. I love, I love my sweet corn. Love the sweet corn, y'all. These days, I can't go without the sweetness of the corn, the sweet corn. And y'all see these lobster? And how you thought this thing? I didn't get in the way. I want a lot of sauce and everything on this bad boy with some lemons. Get that on there too. Woo. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. No, that's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's hot too. Mmm. Mmm. Now, y'all, yeah, I brought these lobster tails from Papa Dole. Mm. And they're good. Mm. 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 Yeah, I love the fact that I got this shirt on. Cause it's getting colder out. I don't know if it's getting colder out where y'all at, but tonight, today is 59 degrees. Mmm, in Cincinnati. Yeah, y'all. I said 59. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow, this felt that's so good. I gotta wipe my face though. Woo! Anyway, I'm gonna 
anyway, 59 degrees. Is it cold hot where y'all at? I know if you in LA or Texas or something, it's probably still warm. Or Arkansas, Alabama, and all that stuff. Y'all probably, it's probably warm out there. But it ain't out here. Ooh, I gotta take this out. I was gonna suck it, but y'all, when I start doing that, sometimes I get choked. I be choking. I be like, oh no. Mm-hmm. This stuff is good. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Y'all wanna buy that? Y'all see that? Ooh. That be some good stuff. Oh, I ain't doing dumb now. I do dumb now, y'all. These things don't be juicy, man. I need some juicy lemons. What is it that the lemons don't be ripe or something? Uh, Ooh, excuse me, said the pig. Already. Already. Mm. 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 But I can't find them. I'm gonna go looking again today. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is sweet corn. Mmm. Look at that good corn. Ooh. Mmm. All these corn. At least that's what I feel right now. That's what I feel right now because I'm hungry. Mm. I wonder how many carbs corn got on it. More than carbs. I bet it's a lot. Mm. You know why? Because it's so good. It's so good. Mm. 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 Well, y'all. Yeah, a couple announcements. Mm. Woo! I'm glad, oh, I'm glad I got this shirt. Well, I'll tell y'all, I'm glad I got this shirt on. This color is just like a, it's plastic type of shirt. Ooh. Ooh, Charlie, my face is messed up. Oh, this sucks. Anyways, 
So when something get on it, it wipes right off. I love these shirts because you ain't got no potatoes to clean it. Give it a good wipe down, bust it down with some soap and water and a paper towel or a towel and you got it. It's clean. It's clean, clean. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got a black one like this. I got a white one like this. I got a dark brown one like this. So, I'm like, let me, have you ever been that way? Uh, oh, excuse me. When y'all buy stuff, sometimes y'all buy it in all colors because you like it so much. Yeah, that's the girl right here. That's the girl. Anyways, y'all be going on Bego. Bego, every Wednesday you can catch me live on Bego for the next six. Well, not next. Yeah, no, not, not the next five Wednesdays I'll be going live. At the same exact time, it will be 4 p.m. PST, uh, 7 p.m. EST. If y'all really want to know. And all I'm over there is doing is I'm going I'm going live. You can talk to me. Sometimes I'm going to be, be um, answering, you know, talking to you individually. Sometimes you'll see me eating or whatever, chopping it up or whatever the case may be. So I'm on there every Wednesday, y'all. Every Wednesday. I be trying not to talk because, y'all, when I talk, I promise you, I can't eat. I know some of y'all are like that. Please tell me I ain't crazy. That you more you start talking, your food start digesting. It's a, it's done. It's a done deal. Mm. 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 I'm not gonna be eating. You got shrimp. I mean, lobster. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Black eat them corn. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I know where y'all came from. Some of y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Why do some people like all the mess? Like, you know, like drama. Some people subscribe subscribers will just click on videos after like video just for drama. Because they I guess is it well, you know, I guess it, it is, you know, sometimes you want to hear the juice. What's going on? What's going on? I can't blame because I've done it too, so. But people gravitate to it. Anyways, I'm here to talk about my sister in law. Because I think so many people, I know she started off. You know, with the wrong foot, basically, when she did that video about, you know, situations and stuff. But y'all got to understand that um, that was a time where, you know, her and my brother had just broke up and things was going on. And um, she was very, very emotional in that video, like highly emotional, like, you know, in her feelings and stuff like that. So things were said. Things were said that she is very regretful for, remorseful, and I know y'all probably like, uh huh, uh, bye, bye, bye. Sometimes y'all, y'all gotta understand. Some people change. People do change. People do sometimes make mistakes. We are human. We all make mistakes. We have all of us have said things one time or another in our life that we like. We really regret of saying, saying, and or we say, man, we shouldn't have said it like that, or you thought about it later, or you feel remorseful and sorrowful about it. And once it's, once something is said, it's hard to take back. You can't take it back. Basically, you can't take it back. And especially when you say something on social media, you definitely can't take it back because they taking it in and they is going to run with it and everything. So you like, you have no chances. You know what I'm saying? You got something on my face. I probably do. Well, it ain't y'all. Y'all know it's an eating show. But anyways, because I always see myself when I'm, when my husband, when I'm going to get it back in my video, I'll be looking like, I had that piece of corn all on my face all that time, but didn't see it. But anyways, 
So what I'm trying to say is that um, we have all had said some things that we didn't mean to say. Oh, we're very sorry for what, that, that we said it, but it's too late. You can't take it back. All you can do is ask that person's forgiveness or you can just ask God to, you know, help you in that area, forgive you and all that other stuff, you know, if you're a Christian or whatever. But my thing is, I, um, with, um, Cindy, I like Cindy, y'all. I, now, I'm, no, I'm going to tell you too. And you know what? I am a very, very forgiving person. I love people. I try to give people chances after chances. You know, if they, you know, if they have hurt me or wronged me, I try to give them a chance. And if it doesn't work out, it's just like, okay, you take a step back and you're like, okay, it's just saying, no, it's not going to work. Okay. So if it doesn't work, it's not, you can still love that person and not have any, no, you know, little will towards that person. You just be grown about it. You know what I'm saying? And just go. And remove yourself, silently remove yourself, and you, you, you know, be yourself, and love them from a distance. So with Cindy, you know, she has to give me a reason not to, you know, say, okay, I gotta love you from a distance. I'll just keep it cordial, say hi if you're around, but not really talk. But she's not like that. When I met Cindy and she met the whole family the very first time, she was very, very open, welcome arm, opened us with open arms and stuff like that, welcomed us with open arms, I should say. And even to my, with my mom, my sisters, you know, sister um, Shannon and Courtney and Jason, we all were there and she was very, very pleasant with us. Now, one thing I can say, she was a grown woman about about her stuff because she really apologized to my mom, me personally, apologized to us for the video that she had done. And some of y'all know the video I'm talking about. I think she took it down. I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't really checked or nothing. I wasn't even checking, but but she did apologize. I did accept her apology, but we all accepted her apology because she was very sincere. And you know, sometimes it's like she, I know she said some things in there that disturbed a lot of people. I get it. I got it. I understand it, y'all. And I don't want y'all looking at me like, because I know a lot of y'all be looking out for me and stuff like that. And it's like, I, y'all, I know, y'all know I'm 46 years old. I ain't have to say that, but I did say that. And you know, it's some things that I know. Some things I know within myself, but I just don't. I just don't express it like that because I feel that certain things just does not need to be said and I could take it to prayer and instead of saying it on the internet. You know what I'm saying? If somebody, y'all couldn't get what I'm saying. I just think everything is not for the internet. You just don't put everything out there because some, you know, it's not meant for everybody to hear or some people try to dissect it and then they don't mean good. You be like, what in the world? And they come up with something different and it's not even like that. So, with that being said, I, so I know sometimes some people come at me and it's like, oh, you know, I know, y'all, I got my guard up. I understand. I can have my guard up, but I also can be nice at the same time. So, but I, like I said, everything that I do, I do take it to prayer. And with Cindy, I really, really respect the fact that she apologized. Now, if she wouldn't apologize or said it, I kind of would. That would have kind of bothered me. Like, okay, this happened. There was no apology, but she apologized to the whole family. That's big, y'all. It takes a lot of humility, a hu being humble, humility, to be able to come forth to somebody and apologize. She really did apologize. And I feel felt that it was sincere because I'm the one that accepted it. So I felt that it was sincere. So she only thing she can do is do, do something opposite of what she has shown herself to me that's not negative, you know, opposite of being nice or, you know, being very friendly that makes me feel like, okay, I'm going to pull back. I don't need to be around her. I don't need to really say anything a lot to her because of what this situation was. But Cindy is a very, very sweetheart, very, very nice person. And I think that that a lot of people misjudge her because on YouTube, let's be very for real, y'all. People that do YouTube understand this more than anyone that you cannot possibly know a person that you think you know from YouTube. I don't care whether good or bad. You but you know people are going to have their opinions, and you could people can have their opinions, but you have to be sure then within yourself to know. Oh, that ain't whatever. I know who I am. I know what kind of woman I am. I know how secure I am. So you don't really have to worry about other sayers, you know, naysayers and what they feel. Well, they, okay, you entitled to your opinion because they are entitled to their opinion. However, however, um. 
I don't think that, I don't think, I was going to say something about Cindy. Oh, yeah, because she was talking about the stuff that she was talking about. I just feel that she don't think, I don't think that she needs to be bashed like she's being bashed, y'all. I think y'all should just give her a chance, an opportunity, because, like I said, you can't possibly know anybody just from YouTube, you know, just watching their videos and different things like that, because they have a whole different personality. Let me tell you something. Cindy is shy. Y'all, she's not... You know, I mean, and I'm not shy like, you know, but she's more like a, she's not a person that, that really, you know how some people do YouTube and they could be a people person. Like, I'm a people person. I can talk to anybody. I talk to a stranger and talk to them for like, I've known them forever in my life. I've always been like that. A people person. Hey, what's up? I can talk in front of crowds. It doesn't bother me. I don't get nervous and stuff like that. But some people do. Some people do you a YouTube and are really introverts or they're people that don't want to be around a lot of people or they don't like to be around big crowds and different things like that so Cindy is very very sweet and when she's on on camera she may seem come come to you guys in one way but she's nearly not like that y'all she is a big teddy bear she's very very sweet and she loved Walter I know y'all think Whoa, Walter ain't gonna take no mess off of no woman I don't care how much y'all think that he will he won't he would not take no mess off of the woman and I mean he has his ways too everybody has their ways you know what I'm saying but the most important thing is that they love each other they're happy with each other and of course people are going to have their opinions about their relationship and you know it is what it is and nobody will know what their relationship is like but them and God because when them, between them four walls you ain't a lot you ain't a fly on the wall you ain't ain't nothing on you know what I'm saying you're not in their household so you can't really say what type of relationship they have you know what I'm saying they tell you you see what you see on video for 20 minutes, 30 minutes here. But there's 24 hours in a day, y'all. And I'm just saying. But like I said, she's a sweetheart. And y'all need to just give her a chance. I gave her a chance. I'm very forgiving, y'all. Y'all need to learn how to forgive. People do make a turnaround. People do say things out of anger. People say, you know, a lot of things. And as far as the comment of her saying that she was she got with him because it's B-Love's brother. I don't think, the thing about it is, is she probably was infatu infatuated. Okay, that's B-Love's life, brother. You know, it'll be cool and this and that. I can understand that, but that doesn't, y'all, she has not asked me for videos. She doesn't sit here and call me and say, well, I need this, I need that. She doesn't do any of that. There will be, I would see if somebody was really, really coming out, trying to be in my old, trying to every sec, every second, every step of the way, they're trying to, come at me for something or something she doesn't do that she doesn't bother me she does she stays in her she stays in her own lane she doesn't do anything and i saw her video too she has a video out um saying that which was she what the things that she said made a lot of sense a lot a lot of sense because you know people do need to stay in their own lane because it's not you know it's not that serious it's like some of the things that you know people do is like okay and you, you literally be buying your own business. I promise you. And, and 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 I just don't know. I just I don't get it. It's something going on in their mind that's not good. So it's not healthy. So you're like, okay, whatever. But anyway, but I did understand what she was saying in her video. This is the video is titled "Stay in." No, I stay in my lane, or I'm staying in my lane, or something like that. But. I thought it was a very good video. Very good video, very inspirational video. I really felt that that was really good for people to hear that. Um, because she does get a lot of backlash, a lot of hate and this and that, but it's people's opinions of her. You know, we all get that. If you're a YouTuber, you're gonna have people to hate on you, have their opinions of you, and it doesn't matter. You go, they can have their opinions, but you, my thing is, as long as you're being blessed, you're healthy, God is still blessing you, or whatever, or you're still, if you don't believe in God, you still in good health, and you um, live in your life, and you know for a fact you're not doing anything to harm anybody or saying anything against anybody that's going to be, you know, just bad things. You know what I'm saying? Because why would you want that conversation? Karma on you. Why would you want that karma on you? You saying all these bad things or having these bad opinions about you, people. Let me tell you something. It's stuff is gonna catch up with you. It's gonna catch up. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Something's gonna catch up with you and then what you gonna do then? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, uh, Cindy's a good person, y'all. Give her a chance. Give her a chance until, you know, she do. if she does something crazy, then hey, 
You know, I just think, think you should forgive her. Forgive her for what she done and give her another chance. I think you I think that some people are they don't I don't think some some people are not meaning any harm, but they feel some people are harder to crack as far as forgiving people. You know what I'm saying? They more like stern, like, uh-uh, you did it once. No, I'm not trusting you. And you be like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, I feel that she's very sincere with how she feels. Let me eat some. See, I ain't really eat. Mm. I don't like her. My sisters, my siblings like her. She cool. And Walter love her. But Walter to marry somebody? And she takes good care of Walt. Y'all about y'all don't see that part. You know what I'm saying? So and my brother, I'm telling y'all, my brother's not crazy. He ain't finna stay with you. He'll leave in a minute. Don't jeopardize his peace. You know what I'm saying? My brother will definitely get out of Dodge. <clears throat> Regardless of what y'all want to say. Now, because I, my brother, he's just my brother. <laughs> you know, Walter had his ways. But he's a very sweet person. That wouldn't hurt a fly. Intentionally, you know what I'm saying? Do anything in a while. Or start some mess with somebody for re no reason at all. Y'all. I don't know about you, but I love my peace. I love my peace. I love my... Love being joyful. I'm happy. Mm, 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 mm. Woo! I really do. And there's nothing like it. Going to bed, waking up with a good conscience, be like, okay. And starting your day off in prayer, ain't nothing like it. And can't nothing stop your happiness. Can't nothing should nothing be able to stop your joy, okay? Nothing in this life. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. As long as you got family around you that loves you and appreciates you for you, that's all good, y'all. And guess what? My sister and my brothers, they coming to see me, y'all. So, yeah, y'all, when they come out, I'm going to be doing videos with them and promoting their channel and all that stuff because my sister, she's getting into wigs, making wigs and different things like that. So, she's doing pretty good with that. And then... My other thing. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm for I they start they started their channels. I'm very very proud of them. And what I'm gonna do is bless each of them with a certain amount of money so they can be able to start their business of their choice. So whatever they want to start, whatever they want to do, I want to give them a jump start to start their business so they can be able to be successful in that. I think that um that they are ready. Because they, I was just, I was telling them, I said, when you're doing YouTube, you have to be faithful. You got to keep going and going and going. And they're, start, they're doing a very, very good job. I'm so proud of them. And so they're going to come out here and do some videos with me. And I'm super excited. So you get to see uh, me with my siblings. Now, we have the same father. We don't have the same uh, mother. But Jada, which is, that, that just passed away. Jada, Shannon. Um, Courtney and Jason all have the same mom and dad. So they grew up in the same household. Um, and then me and my brother, we grew up in the same house. We that same mom. And then I have another sister that grew up differently. We had, we had the same father. And is that all of us? Y'all don't even know. That's all of us. And that's about it. So 
we all grew up but we didn't grow up in the same household so we we have been it's not it's not like a very close knit 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 type thing but i'm gonna tell you with jason i jason i was around him when he was a baby when he was born so that's my baby baby like i mean changing his diaper feeding him food making sure his bottle done everything that was jason jason and he's the oldest the oldest no he's next to the oldest walter's the oldest he's next to the oldest son he's the oldest of shannon and, and courtney and um jada so and then uh I have a sister that's sister Adrian that's older than all of us. So that's how it goes. So my dad had a lot of kids. Okay, he had the kids, like kids. We all just have different personalities and everything, but we have not raised we wasn't raised together. So it is what it is, y'all. But I'm so excited they're coming out. Um uh, they'll be out here for a few days and we're gonna do videos we're gonna go out we're gonna have fun as a family and that's it we're thinking about we go, i invited them too i'm trying to get to the lovers the love verse fest the, the no the lovers and friends i'm trying to get to that concert y'all i tried to uh i did book a, bu bu a, a bungalow for that so they're gonna come out for that too in vegas i i, I, I rented a big huge um what is it called a cabana a cabana a cabana that's what it is hopefully they, they put me on because i i'm on a waiting list y'all so fingers crossed i'm on a waiting list hopefully they call me because i really really want to go and i really want to have my family together so we can have fun because we every time we get together it's a fun time it's a good time so i'm looking forward to that at any rate y'all but i'm super excited they're coming hopefully they they come because uh they have to drive they driving so they should leave uh they should be leaving today actually they'll be here today so today well i should say tomorrow they'll be here tomorrow i'm gonna call my sister today to see make sure everything's okay and yeah y'all i'm super excited about that but y'all i love y'all so much i promise y'all i got so much love out there air, 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 in the air <laughs> anyways y'all i love y'all i can't wait till y'all meet my siblings um so you guys get to know who they are and what they're doing what they want to do you know what i'm saying i feel that this is the perfect opportunity for me to sow into their lives so that when they do start their business they still have a jump start to start their business because they have a um a um a following because it's, it's very important that y'all when y'all start a business that if you have a following social media is media is everything when it comes down to running a business whether you selling makeup selling hair doing hair if you have a talent or anything that you have you have to be into this social media thing social media will take you to far 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 above and beyond your dreams imaginable like even let me just say y'all even commercials on tv doesn't work like social media work i hate to say it but it just doesn't it's like you have more strong it's like your supporters support you so much the people that support you so 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 much they will buy your products they will be your ride or dies they whatever you uh promote they're going to be right behind you 100 percent until you give them some reason not to be behind you you know what i'm saying but that's why i promise you with all of my being every piece of blood or ounce of blood that's in my body y'all i'm so so grateful for each and every person that watched my videos that enjoyed the videos that purchased my sauce and purchased the coldest water bottle you know anything that i've done, ever done and the way y'all really really rock with me i am so 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 grateful i could not be in no i mean so 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 grateful filled in my heart y'all i'm so it's just filled up in my heart with joy and happiness and peace this has been a very 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 good run for me i mean but y'all we going on five years in january january 3rd will be five years of me doing youtube and the mukbangs and the and different things. it has been such a joy such a pleasure and i'm looking to do more more and more and y'all i got more things in stock things coming y'all so i'm excited i have a i can't well i'm not gonna say it but there's so many more things coming, y'all. I ain't done yet. Your girl ain't done yet. So, so, so be looking for me somewhere else, okay? Look, Be looking for me. Be on the lookout, y'all. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> At any rate, y'all, I love y'all so much. Um, and I just pray that God continue to bless you 
Um, I, I speak nothing but blessings on each and every person that view this video. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And next week, y'all see videos with my siblings. Hey, my siblings. Hey. Anyways, y'all, we gonna um, be there. I hopefully y'all get to um, know their personalities, know the different the, the different sides of them. You know, because sometimes they be they be. I think my sister Shannon and Courtney does videos together, and then Jason does videos with his family. So. Uh, I don't know. Now I think I don't even know if Jason is coming. Actually, I'm gonna call him to see if he's gonna come in with them. Cause you know, all of us got they all of them got jobs. Well, Shannon doesn't. Shannon Shannon is at home, but she does she does wigs, so she's good. That girl know how to make. Now this wig is made by my my um my other hairstylist um style Antone. Antonate the stylist. So this she made this wig, which is cute. I love this wig, y'all. It's cute. It's cute. Y'all never see me with a color like this, but yeah, I like it. It's, I love it. So she made me this wig, and she made the wig probably the 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 curly not well the red curly kind of wig, and then my sister made the long curly curly deep wave wig that's black, and then she made me the um. The straight wig y'all saw when I was in my car with my husband. She made me that one too. So, and then she made me that red wig. So, my sister know how to really make some good wigs, y'all. I mean, they fit. If you give her the size of your head, she would. It, it, it fits your head. You know, the size of your 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 head size. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know, do the measurements of your head. Give her your measurements. It, it my well, I don't know. My stuff fit to a T. With her, I'd be like, dang girl, it fits to a T because she got them little heads and stuff like that. My um Antoinette, the hairstyle, she makes good wigs as well. Because that's the ones I've been wearing all the time as well. She has a uh Instagram. Y'all can look up on Instagram. Antone the stylist. That's her name, right? Antone the stylist. Yeah, y'all can find her on there on Instagram. But she does good hair as well. Um so yeah, look them up, look them up, y'all, look them up. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go because I got to get ready for tonight, y'all. Yes, I said it tonight. Well, see, tonight is, today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday. So technically, you see this on Thursday, but I recorded it the night before, or the day before. You get it? But anyways, your girl got to go live on Bego tonight. So, okay. I got to be ready. Up and ready. I'm going to change my outfit. Should I change my wig? I may change my wig. But I got to touch up my makeup. That's going to be a while now. I always have to rest before I go to Bego. I have to get me. Let me tell y'all something. I'm like a kid. I need to rest. It's like I need my rest. So, I go rest. And then I wake up. And then I'll be energized again. So we'll we we gonna we gonna get energized. And y'all ain't been drinking my monsters. But actually, no, I did have a monsters. Let me just tell let me let me tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Anyways, I had a monster last week. Last week I had a monster because it was a long, long day of recording. Y'all, I was recording the whole entire day. When I tell you, waking up early in the a.m. to way to like about 9 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock, 9, 9 30, I was recording all that time. Doing a lot of stuff, y'all. So, I mean, sometimes it can get really brutal out there and I need me something. So, I did take a, a monster. But before that, y'all, I've really been good with the monsters. I remember y'all telling me, you shouldn't drink on my... And I hadn't had monsters in like six months, y'all. It was a long time. So, I just do it periodically. I had one that day. Did I have one? I may have had two that day. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think I did have two that day. And I've had one since. So I've been drinking my water. My water. Okay, but anyways, I love y'all. Dang, I didn't even drink none of my water. Anyone even up? I just noticed that. Anyway, I love y'all. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease.